Hello friend, welcome back. Many of you have asked that in test case studio, like we have an option to stop the recording of some actions like scroll event, shift key and arrow key. Similarly, like uh, we, uh, similarly currently, like if you see when you are recording here something in test case studio, if you refresh the page, reload the page, it used to record that action as well. Like we have just refreshed this page. So here you will see that it says like reload, right? But sometimes like you don't want to like many of users doesn't want to record this reload action so in that case now we have added this option where you can turn off this so if you uncheck this and now if you reload like let's say if you perform some action here and there and you don't want to reload the page in that uh, like you don't want to record that refresh page so that now it will not record that so here we are on this page you can see that this is click on practice page we did now if you refresh the page it will not record that refresh action so you see that it has not recorded but if you go under customize and you want to record that reload or refresh you just check in and come back here and now if you will refresh this page it will record that reload action so here you can see that it is recording so this is how now you can control the action of reload as well other action even actions also can be controlled like for an example so here you see that if we scroll down it will record the scroll but if you don't want to record this scroll event you uncheck this go back here and now if you will do a scroll up or down anything you do it will not record that you can see that it is not recording that scroll up or down it was the previous event right like let me just also show you this way here we click you see that it is clicking and now if you will scroll down it will not record a scroll see that it is not recording so this is how you can basically customize that event whichever event you doesn't want to record you can just uncheck and if you want you can just check in whatever setting like let's say if we have checked checked out and now if we will close this and open again like in future test case studio if we will open this it will not be checked in whatever settings we have saved it will remain saved in our system in your chrome browser until you have not installed it okay so this is how now you can uh, control this reload or refresh page as well. I hope you like this feature. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on Selector Sub channel. Thank you.